which do you buy? In like 99% of scenarios, First of all, when you're choosing to buy a CPU, you need to know what game you're gonna main. I only play one game, one game only, and that's the only game I play. I never plan on playing another game ever again. Even that one has some issues because patches. Um, I'll never, again, back in these days, when the 5950X came out, it was the best in Warzone against a 10900k until they patched in the nakatomi plaza now all of a sudden it was like the lows got cut in half right in 99 percent of scenarios this one is going to be better and the word better means that it's not going to be impacted by random ass patches like the plaza it's if if a new game comes out like arc raiders or if I remember when um, Destiny 2 came out and it just wouldn't launch on Ryzen CPUs, it was like getting a, some kind of crash. That's how it's better. You just you just never have to. So when you when you're using a, a 14 900 K, you never have to worry about like. I don't know if my CPU is causing problems or not. It's it's like a mental it's like a mental freedom thing. So let's say I'm actually playing Arc Raiders right now and I only have a 9800X 3D. If I have my graph up like this and I see my FPS go down to 120 like that, I, I'm like, is it the game? Is it my CPU? I see a fucking 80 dip right there. I'm like, I, I, is it, 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 should I, should I go into the config files and adjust something? Is it something I did? It, it's like this mental fucking bandwidth black hole where you, you don't know, like, do you know what I'm saying? You, if, if you just, that's, yeah. How, how do you, so, when when you watch benchmarks of like oh, yeah. AMD CPUs, you don't see that equation of it, where it's like. But but then so let's say you're, you're let's say you're playing um, Death Stranding, that game is like flawless on a 3D C or Battlefield. Battlefield. I was gonna use Battlefield because like, if you're using a 14900K in Battlefield, that's it's just hard to cool because it's pulling 200 watts, right? Um, so there, there, that's like the only scenario where it's like having a 14. So sometimes I get the thought where I'm like, cause so I play battlefield all the time now, right? That's what I play the most. So when I'm playing battlefield, I'm like, maybe I should get my AMD system because that one just doesn't pull fucking a thousand Watts while I'm gaming. Right. And the performance is basically identical. Because because that, that game doesn't have any problems with chiplet fucking architectures. So it's like, maybe I should get the AMD one if, I'm, if all I'm going to play is Battlefield, right? But then, I don't know what's going to happen in Battlefield 2.0, Season 2. I don't know if they're going to fuck some shit up. All I know is... If my if my CPU is pulling 200 watts all the time, at least I know it's going to pull 200 watts all the time and I'm never going to have any fucking problems. You know what I'm saying? Sim racing? Yeah, that's a different one too. Yeah. Because I I um I I would actually I would be the wrong person to ask about sim racing. Just because um I don't follow their patches and I don't follow that scene at all. So whenever I, I I'm basically the hardware unboxed for sim racing, I can benchmark it and I can hit the button and I can use the latest drivers and the latest game patch at the time I do it, but I probably shouldn't be making recommendations if I don't play those games. Do you know what I'm saying? That's not like, like, I can tell you what I benchmarked, but I, I don't know. I don't know if 
there's a dip on a certain patch on a certain driver or something like that, right? Because I, I don't follow that scene at all. I recommended AMD graphics cards once for Call of Duty, and I regretted it. It was a bad call. It was a bad call because the drivers didn't work. It was a bad call. And, and, and now with the 9070 XT, whatever the hell AMD is doing with that texture pop stuff on Call of Duty, whatever that, whatever hub discovered there, um, <clears throat> I just don't even fuck with that shit anymore. I don't fuck with it. Anonymous donated $5, just a little thanks for all the good work you do for the community. Dude, thank you, whoever that was. Thank you for the five. I try, man. I try my best. I try. I, tr I, so when somebody asks a question about misinformation, I try my best to explain the reasoning, the background, and, and, and the final thing that I was going to say, I'll give you a button in a sec. The final thing that I'm going to say there, no matter what you buy, you're going to find out. You'll find out. And I wish you the best. If, 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 here's what I'll say. If you do happen to get fear mongered or FOMO'd or socially pressured into buying the wrong thing, the best thing that you can do is use that as a learning lesson to see who's lying to you and who's not and who's full of shit. And it should be a good learning lesson to kind of trust your gut a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because even, even if you do buy the wrong thing, nothing bad, if you zoom out five years from now, nothing bad really happens. You just, you just learned a very good lesson on how social media works and how social pressure works and how narratives work and shit. I wonder if I should get the 5090 Astral from Micro Center for $3,400. I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't help you with that one, dude. Oh, we have to do the giveaway. Fuck. I can't help you with that one. Jesus. I wonder if I should spend $1,600 over MSRP just in case the price goes up. I don't know, dude. I don't. I would. I, I, if it were me, I just wouldn't fuck with it at all. I'd just be like, uh, I'll just get a 5080 and wait or something. Like, Jesus, that's a lot of money.